Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam. This is our third and last video on PTC Crew Extrude. If you haven't checked our first two videos, then I would suggest you to check those videos out as we have covered almost all aspect or all capability of extrude feature inside PTC Creo Parametric. In this last video, we're going to cover two aspect that was left. One was related to how we can extrude any sketch or entity as a thickened part and how we can create parametric surface using extrude. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now here we are in our computer screen. And as you can see here, I already have created our part. Now let me actually quickly create a sketch. And to be honest guys, I'm gonna create a simple analytical geometry, for example, this rectangle. And um, now let's try to extrude this. So let's click on extrude, let's select this geometry. And there we go guys, here we can see, by default this is blind type solid extrude. Now what here actually I need is, for example, I would like to create a cuboid of height 100mm and um, 100 mm actually toward one side and then i can go to option and can use variable and then um, let's say 10 mm uh, toward opposite side so in total the height is 110 mm now i actually do not want it to have this complete solid part uh, instead i wanted if i would have created it in a hollow way and that is possible guys for that, simply need to click here on thicken sketch and there we go guys, here we can see and to better understand it in a proper way, let me actually uh, view this uh, extrude normally so that uh, we can actually see the direction of material addition. So here we can see all the material is being added inside the boundary or inside the sketch that we have created. But let's say in your case, you wanted to have this outside then it is pretty easy guys we simply need to actually click here but before that let me also define the thickness of this entity let's make it 5 and now if i click here on this flip button it's going to change the direction of material and now if you see carefully here you will see the direction of material is completely outward let me actually you know hide these datum planes and now here we can see everything is added outside now let me again click on view normal and then again let me hide the plane and go back to extrude now here this time instead of material being added inside we can see material is now outside of the sketch and here also we can see the thickness of material is 5 mm now what if I would like to add material equally both sides? That is also possible guys. For that simply again click on this flip button and there we go. Now we can see material is being added equally inward and outward. In this way guys we can create thickened part inside PTC Creo Parametric. By making click on this flip icon it will provide you all feasible possible combination now based on your need you can choose anyone and there we go guys in this way we can create this thickened part now let's say you do not want thickened part so let me actually delete this and let's unhide the same sketch now instead of creating thickened part i would like to generate parametric surface that can be utilized for different purpose now let's see how we can do that again let's click on extrude and then same sketch here I'm gonna again put 100 and if I go to option variable and the value here was 10 and this time I'm going to click here on surface and there we go guys instead of a solid body or solid part we can see we were able to generate a parametric surface inside Creo. so in this way guys you can utilize extrude tool to even generate parametric surface. 
This completes our third and last part of extrude capability inside Creo Parametric. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow complete PTC Creo Parametric series. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.